Okay, so this is for the Coa BIM BIMSTORM, Construction Owners Association BIMSTORM. And it's open to anybody to, to watch, actually, and to participate by invitation. It's a short uh, BIMSTORM, so we uh, invited uh, previous BIMSTORM participants and, uh, to join this BIMSTORM. And we have them listed on the BIM Storm Coa website. And we actually are adding a few more. I just talked to Igor from Ecodomus. He's going to be at Coa, so he's going to be jumping in as well. Um, and we'll be updating this page. But we have it, uh, the bimstorm.com page on Coa is where all the information is for the, uh, the next week's uh, BIM Storm, which will be at the Construction Owners Association. Um, conference in Orlando. <clears throat> There's a link right here that shows the schedule if you go to the uh, COA site. Um, there is the agenda for the conference, which is right here. And there's a detailed agenda list linked from here. And we will be online on from 2.30 to 2.45 on the first day, October 31st. Um, what's interesting also is uh, at COA, at this particular conference, there's a, there's a focus on construction information handover, which focuses on Kobe, and there's been an ongoing discussion at COA about this, and we're going to be showing some of that as part of the BIM storm. So the overall agenda is uh, on the 31st in the morning, we'll be going live uh, from 2.45 to 4.30 is uh, Eastern time, and that's the time we would like to have some interaction with participants, although we will be preparing from now until then, so we don't necessarily have to show all the interactions live. The intent is to be able to show some of the workflows and to be able to share data between different uh, participants. That's on the 31st. And then on November 1st, we will still be there at the COA conference where the intent is we can continue to do some um, um, work on the projects through November 1st. We won't be presenting on November 1st. Then on the last day, on November 2nd, we have a 30-minute wrap-up, which will be from, uh, let's see, where is it? It's down here somewhere, yeah, from 10.45 a.m. to 11.15 on November 2nd will be a recap, which will be a summary of here's what's happened over the last few days and last week. Um, and let's go to the, we'll be using the Fusion BIM Storm Studio. This was used uh, last year at the EcoBuild conference, so there are some projects from last year, but we started a new project here at the very top, or uh, it's the top of my file here, but I've I've actually put it under my name. Uh, this is Kimono Numa uh, speaking. Um, we have some seed files here, and I wanted to walk through the uh, the workflow uh, on those um, files. The overall intent is to be able to show all the way from owner requirements. So we're using a community college campus at Solano, which is near uh, Sacramento, between Sacramento and San Francisco. It's a campus uh, where uh, our, uh, VBN Architects STV is currently working on a master plan. The sample files that we have have been given um, permission to use for the BIM storm are not the actual final master plan, but they're uh, elements from the uh, facility information that's going uh, that's coming from Fusion on the Fu uh, Fairfield campus. So I'll open up this uh, number 10 Fairfield campus to kind of give you an overview of the site. 